Welcome to Semtex video blog. In this video, we are going to talk about Semtex Surge Switch family of protection devices. The Surge Switch product line protects interfaces from electrostatic discharge and electrical overstress events with its exceptional clamping and temperature characteristics. These devices have superior clamping and stability over temperature when compared to conventional transient voltage suppression or TVS diodes. The conventional TVS diodes are basically PN junction diodes. Now let us look into the simplified model of the PN junction TVS diode. The total clamping voltage is equal to the reverse breakdown voltage VBR plus the peak pulse current IPP times the dynamic resistance. The figure on the right shows the clamping voltage versus peak pulse current which is basically the current during a surge event. The clamping voltage increases with peak pulse current. For higher reverse breakdown voltage, the clamping voltage will also go up. So the dynamic resistance becomes quite high. With this high dynamic resistance, the clamping voltage gets substantially higher than the reverse breakdown voltage. So it is required to select the components that can endure this higher clamping voltage. Not only that, we need to consider the temperature as well. The clamping voltage increases with high temperatures and that creates the thermal runaway problem. Now think about a circuit protection technology when the dynamic resistance behaves as a variable resistor. When the peak pulse current increases, the dynamic resistance decreases. So the overall clamping voltage remains same for the entire surge event. Semtech has introduced a new product line named Surge Switch that acts in a similar way with an innovative technology. Unlike TVS diodes, Surge Switch devices don't use a conventional PN junction for the breakdown mechanism. Instead, surge switches employ a surge rated MOSFET with a trigger circuit as the primary clamping element. This whole thing works as a voltage control switch. The trigger circuit keeps checking the voltage and activates the MOSFET when a surge or EOS event is detected. During an EOS event, when the transient voltage increases beyond the rated breakdown voltage, the MOSFET turns on and safely diverts transient current to the ground to safeguard the integrated circuit. The trigger circuit is designed in such a way that the clamping voltage does not get much higher than the reverse breakdown voltage. So even if there is more surge current flowing through the surge switch, the clamping voltage does not increase as large as a traditional TVS diode and acts as a variable resistor as mentioned before. Now let us see the clamping voltage versus peak pulse current graph of a surge switch and a conventional TVS diode side by side. We can clearly see that the clamping voltage is closer to the breakdown voltage for a surge switch and also the dynamic resistance is extremely low in this case. The surge switch brings substantial performance advantages in terms of protecting circuits from ESD and EOS events. First advantage, the clamping voltage is nearly constant across the rated peak pulse current range. However, you can see that the clamping voltage of a traditional TVS diode increases with peak pulse current. Lower clamping voltage at maximum peak pulse current makes the surge switch more suitable for protecting today's sensitive ICs when compared to standard TVS diode. Second advantage. 
the clamping voltage of the conventional TVH diode changes with temperature, whereas the clamping voltage of the surge switch remains stable over the operating temperature range, which is a great quality for protecting the components that work in a harsh environment. Third advantage. The clamping voltage of a surge switch is typically 30% less than the clamping voltage with the conventional TVS diodes. And this is due to the extremely low dynamic resistance of the MOSFET in the surge switch. Semtex surge switch devices are offered in several voltage options to address the needs of the consumer, industrial, and telecom applications. As you can see in the table, SART switches are available from operating voltage of 22 volts to 58 volts. Each device is housed in a small 1.6 by 1.6 millimeter DFN package. The SART switch portfolio provides surge immunity up to level 1 of the IEC 61000-4-5 standard and above level 4 of the IEC 61000-4-2 ESD immunity standard. Now that we know about the SART switches, let us look into a few applications where they may be used. The first application we will consider is the VBUS protection of USB Type-C. When utilizing USB power delivery, peripheral devices can select a VBUS voltage of up to 20 volts with a maximum current of 5 amps. Naturally, the security of the VBUS pin requires an ESD protection device with more than 20 volts of operating voltage, fast response time, and low clamping voltage for the protection of the VBUS pin. The surge switch TDS2211P is actually suited to safeguard the VBUS pin of the USB Type-C connector. TDS2211P has an operating voltage of 22 volts and a peak pulse current of 40 amps. TDS2211P provides a transient protection as per the specification in IEC 61000-4-2 ESD at plus minus 30 kV air and plus minus 30 kV contact. The second application we can consider is the IOLINK, which is the backbone of today's Industry 4.0. IOLINK is the standardized point-to-point -point serial communication link for data exchange between two nodes. One endpoint of the link is typically connected to a IOLINK device, maybe a sensor or an actuator, and the other endpoint is connected to the IOLINK master. The TDS3311P is a perfect solution to safeguard the IOLINK devices and masters. The operating voltage is 33 volts. It is rated for a high energy peak pulse current capability up to 35 amps. It protects one IOLINK line and TDS 3311 provides a transient protection as per the specifications in IEC 61000-4-2 plus minus 30 kV for air plus minus 30 kV for contact. The third application we can discuss here is the protection of 24 volt AC applications. A typical US home uses a 24 volt AC system to power applications like smart video doorbell, thermostat, smart speaker, HVAC, video surveillance camera, and many other smart home automation devices. The surge switch TDS4501P can be used to safeguard the VBUS pin of these 24 volt AC applications. TDS4501P has an operating voltage of 45 volts and a peak pulse current of 24 amps. 
TDS 4501P also provides transient protection as per the specifications in IEC 61000-4-2 at plus minus 30 kV air and plus minus 20 kV for contact. The final application I'm going to discuss here is the protection of power over Ethernet or PoE applications. In PoE applications, the standard Ethernet cables carry both data and power to remote devices. Applications like video monitoring, industrial control, or systems in locations where power is not readily available, they can take advantage of the PoE technology. Search switch TDS 5801P is well suited to safeguard the PoE applications. The operating voltage is 58 volts. It is rated for a high energy peak pulse current capability up to 20 amps. It protects one line with a minimum breakdown voltage of 68 volts. It has a typical dynamic resistance of only 0.09 ohms. Semtex search switch devices are designed to offer various applications of different voltage requirements. Search switches remove several downsides of the conventional TVS diodes. Let me repeat the three main advantages of search switch devices. Number one, constant clamping voltage throughout the search event. Number two, Semtex search switch achieves 30% lower clamping voltage over conventional TVS diodes. Number three, the clamping of search switch does not degrade over temperature. Other than these three advantages, Semtex search switch consumes much less board space compared to conventional TVS diodes. This is just a short overview of the search switch devices. For more details, please visit www.semtech.com and search for search switch to get the latest list of search switch devices.